you're going to make selection of the lower tray I've chosen a non perforated tray at this time because some of the trays we have here are non perforated ideally you would use an impression compound in this tray but I'm just going to try to show you a modification of how to use algae in a non perforated tray using some other techniques as well now you can see that the retromyeloid region of this tray is quite deep that's because the patient has got a class 1 lateral throat form so I selected this tray with a deep retromyeloid area I'm going to check it into the mouth I'm going to go for the same three criteria. I'm going to look for the anterior posterior length where I want my tray to cover the retromolar pad and extend up to my rabial frenum and then I'm going to look for the medial lateral keeping the tray in the midline I'm going to see if there's enough space between the lingual flange not the buckle this time lingual and the ridge and then of course finally you want to look for the superior inferior especially at the buckles because you cannot see the lingual's and we'll look for the buckles if it's up to the vestibule or more or less. Okay. Once I place my tray in, if the phone you can see that the tray is covering all the way to the retromolar pad at the back okay and in the anterior segment it is at the frenum so that's okay the medial lateral is what's tricky in this case and you want to lift up the tray at the handle and look for the flange the lingual flange the distance between the lingual flange and the ridge there should be at least two to three millimeters space and there is space here even on this side and for the sun folks All right, there is enough space between the two and I think this tray would be good. Now, for checking the depth of the vestibule, you can see that this is slightly overextended, slightly overextended, all right? And I will have to do with this because I don't have another tray that is of a proper better size.